Welcome back to Linux Network. Today we're taking a look at Natix 25.02.5, the latest release of this unique Linux distribution. If you've never heard of Natix before, don't worry, I'll explain everything, so let's break it down. First off, what is Natix? Natix is an independent Linux distribution that stands out because of its lightweight design and custom package manager called Cards. Unlike big name distros like Ubuntu, Fedora or Arch, Natix takes a different approach. It's designed to be simple, flexible and built from scratch while giving users full control over their systems. One of the things that make Natix unique is its package management system called Cards, which is now updated to version 3.1.0, but more on that later. Alright, let's talk about the major changes in this release. There are a few big improvements that make this version of Natix better than ever. One of the biggest updates is that Natix now offers two separate init systems, SysV and SystemD. For those who don't know, the init system is what manages the boot process and services running on your computer. SysV is the older, more traditional way of handling system startup and background services. It's simple and lightweight. SystemD is the more modern and commonly used init system found in most Linux distributions today. It offers more advanced features and better performance in some cases. With Natix 25.02.5, you can choose which one to use, depending on your preference. This is great because some users love the simplicity of CSV, while others prefer the efficiency of SystemD. Next up, the package manager Cards has been completely revamped. A whole year of development went into this update and now it's at version 3.1.0. Here is what's new. Packages are now signed using a special algorithm instead of older methods. This makes it more secure and ensures that no one has tampered with the software. Hashing is now done with CHA512 instead of MD5, which makes it much harder for files to be corrupted or altered without detection. Easier to read package names, this makes it simpler to find what you need. The cards.com file has been cleaned up to make it easier to manage. There are also new commands available in cards, such as cards repo, which verifies and generates package metadata. Cards dependent, that shows what other packages depend on a specific package. Cards key, helps generate key pairs for signing packages. And many existing commands have been improved, making it easier to search for and manage packages. Natix 25.02.5 brings a ton of software updates, including GNU C library version 2.39. This is important for system libraries. GCC 14.2.0 for compiling programs. Python 3.13.2, a major update for developers. Zork Server 21.1.15 important for graphics support, and MESA 24.3.3 improves gaming and 3D rendering performance. If you're a gamer using an NVIDIA GPU, you'll be happy to know that the latest NVIDIA driver 550.144.03 is now included, along with legacy support for older cards in the 470s and 390s series. For desktop environments, you now get GNOME 47.1, KDE Plasma 6.2.5 XFCE 4.20.0 MATE 1.28.2 and LXQT 2.1.1 This means Natix supports a variety of different desktop environments, so whether you like the simplicity of XFCE or the modern look of KDE, you have options. The latest browsers are also available including Firefox 135.0 and Epiphony 47.3.1 along with updated applications like LibreOffice 24.8.4, GIMP 2.10.3.38, Thunderbird 128.6, and Telegram version 5.10.7. If you care about your Linux kernel versions, Natix gives you plenty of options. This is great because it allows users to pick a stable and well-tested kernel or go for the latest cutting-edge features. If you tried installing Natix before and run into problems with USB installation, there is good news. The team has fixed a long-standing issue where installing from a USB key sometimes failed. This issue was worse in recent kernels, but thanks to the feedback from the community, it's now resolved. 
If you're already using Natix, upgrading to the latest version is simple. Just open your terminal and run the following commands. That's it. You'll now be on the latest version of Natix with all the new features and improvements. So, to summarize. You can now choose between SysV and SystemD as your init system. The card's package manager has been massively improved. Tons of software updates including GNOM 47.1, KDE 6.2.5 and the latest NVIDIA drivers. Multiple kernel versions including the latest 6.13.2 and USB installation issue has been fixed. Natix may not be as well known as Ubuntu or Arch, but it's a great distro for those who want a lightweight, flexible and customizable Linux experience. If you want to try it out, head over to the official Natix website and download it. But what do you think about Natix? Have you tried it before? Or are you planning to? Let me know in the comments. And as always, if you found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.